Hey, Commander. I dug out some... You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. That is not a side of the Asari I ever want to see. Shepard? Shepard? Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. How's it going? It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Commander. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. Hello again. Hello again. Please, enjoy your day. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. 
But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes. Well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. No crew health issues to report. No crew health issues to report. democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. I talked with Williams. Between the 212, Horizon, and the Council's other guards, it's like death just follows her around. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. love the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? You know, next time we're at the Citadel, I think I might hit a nightclub. You should join me. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. Good to see you, Commander. Hey. Hey. 